Hey guys, Bitter Steel here, back with another video for Hearts of Iron 4. And as you can see from this menu, we are trying something completely different this time. I put out a community poll asking for good mods to play, and Kaiserreich came out on top, so we are playing Kaiserreich. Let's see here. Single player, new game. Many options here and uh, a few very spicy ones. Now I've had a few runs in this mod in the past, and I mean like years and years ago, but I do remember these boys here, the French Republic being very interesting. I, I do like that story of trying to reclaim the homeland after a communist revolution, so I think that's going to be our goal today. We'll play as the French Republic and we will retake France. The world, yeah, the world looks about what you expect after German victory. Big chunky Germany. Russia seems very Republican. I expected it to be redder, but if I'm not mistaken, the Bolsheviks never really took off in this timeline. Then there's China being China. Sure, I'm not going to look at that too much. And you even put in work in South America. That's usually skipped than most mods I've seen, so I'm pretty impressed. Ooh, and a big Middle Africa. I wonder how well that goes over. But we have bigger worries. We must reclaim the homeland. Let's go. Now, if you like these videos, leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel a lot. Also, hit me up in those comments. Hit me with your questions, your suggestions. I try to answer as many of you as I can and I do read most of the comments. That said, we also have a very nice active Discord community. I'll leave a link to the server in the description below. Check it out. There's some community games going on there every now and then, some multiplayer, some roleplay. Maybe we'll dive into some uh, community games for the channel. We'll see in the future. Anyway, enough rambling. On the video. Nice big splash screen here. This is a list, I believe, of the mod creators. They've done a very good job. Very nice job, guys. Now, let's take a look at our focus tree first. Many, many options. Oh, oh that's zoom, though. That's zoom. So, there's the political trees up top here. Uh, Union Sacré, Comité du Salut National, Révolution Nationale et Politique d'abord. If I'm not mistaken, the left one is the monarchist path. This one is the Pétain slash Vichy France path. Then there's the Mordak dictatorship and the democratic path. Now, like others, I know, I very much appreciate a good monarchist run and today will be a good monarchist run. So we will aim for politique d'abord. I'm not sure what we need to do to um, get that, but I do believe it involves Charles de Gaulle. So I think we'll go with him when the option arises. But for now, Let's check out the fate of Equatorial Africa. That's all we can do, really. Try and uh, assess the damage. Military, 14 divisions. That's uh, that's not a lot. I'll just park them in Algiers for now and turn them into basic infantry divisions. It's just, I like standardization. Uh, production, ooh. Won't be needing motorized or armored cars or light tanks or tactical bombers or naval bombers. Um, I think it will be mostly infantry equipment Artillery and support equipment. I'll dabble in the air somewhat. I'll finish this cruiser, sure. As for manpower, I don't really have that much either. Oof, total manpower, 200k. If I'm not mistaken, our only cores are the Algerian region and everything else is occupied. Let's check that out. So yeah, most of our territory is just occupied territory. These are our colonial holdings. And Senegal and Algeria, those are considered core territory. That's not a lot to work with, not a lot to work with. Let's keep resistance down, bump it up the local police force and prioritize the garrisons and build more military factories. We will need a lot of guns, research probably just the basics, keep up to date with the industry and the engineering. And I'll have to focus my efforts towards the infantry equipment, artillery, until the industry really picks up. We have a relatively large navy. Try and group those boys up. And Darlan, you can uh, take care of those. I uh, will park them in Algeria. Algiers or Oran. Doesn't matter. We will park them somewhere. All right. Uh, let's see what the world has in store for us. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, yeah. The mod does do a good job at storytelling, and it does so through these events. I'm not going to read them all out or show all of them on screen. I'll pick the interesting ones. But this pretty much lays out 
how the Third Republic or the Fourth Republic, not really sure how many republics it is at this point. Anyway, this lays out how we came to be a French Republic in exile. And Pétain is at our head of the Lion of Verdun. I'm sure it's going to be fine. So yeah, this, um, keep resistance under 80 or you might get revolts. Yeah, okay. And we're one weekend and Kerensky's been shot. I wonder, does Kerensky ever survive? Oh boy, they've got Wrangel. Pieter Wrangel takes control of Russia. Oh, the Russians can't catch a break, can they? Oh, this is the series of events that will set us on our political path. If I'm not mistaken, I need to choose the goal if I want myself a monarchist playthrough. It might be interesting if we roleplay this a bit instead of just clicking options. Now, I do agree with the general sentiment here that we need to make some changes. What we've been doing hasn't really worked. Let's organize and reorganize. Let's support the rooster. Reform is needed, but the real issue lies outside of the armed forces. Oh, looks like China's getting itself into a mess again. Everyone here is just killing each other, per usual. Let's, let's look away. We have our own country to fix. Hmm, our colleague has retired. We need to pick a new marshal. If I go with the bear, that will put more duck in charge. The lion, that would mean Petan taking the helm. I think we need an officer of the young guard to bring in the goal. Maybe some youthful enthusiasm bring us one step closer to reclaiming our home. Really, Canada? You need my help to fight Afghanistan. Really? No. You can fix that yourself. Oh, it looks like we're actually not just choosing to boost the goal, but we're actively going to repress Mordak. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, the sooner this is over, the better indeed. And Mordak has escaped. Yay, this is not good news. Looks like we have a mole. Can't proceed with this tree, but we have some options now. Ministry of Naval Affairs, of the Air, and the Ministry of War. I see a research lot here, so I'm going to rush for that first. Meanwhile, let's build some uh, Trans-Sahara railways. Okay, with our manpower pool being so small, I'm going to make a few changes to the division. Like, this is our basic division. It's good to start with. It's... Uh, it's good enough to build on. Uh, let's see here. 18 comma with. Now we can either turn this into a 10-0. So 10 infantry battalions with some support companies added later on. 20 comma with. Good defense. A decent unit to hold the line. Nothing, nothing useful to attack with, but it can hold the line. But that will require more manpower and we don't really have any. Instead, I could also turn these into a 7-2. Also a 20 with infantry division, a little less defense, a little more soft attack. More importantly, they require a lot less manpower. In exchange though, we need to pony up much more artillery. But I think we can make artillery easier than we can new soldiers. So I think I'll be using 7-2s until we get out of this uh, manpower predicament. Might make some 14-4s later on if the economy allows. And to deal with that, I should prioritize artillery production. Meanwhile... Just every time I look at China, it's gotten worse. And more strange. And it looks like the military has started um, protesting as well. I do hope things will calm down eventually, but I doubt it. Now, it does feel like the first years here are being spent just dealing with your colonial holdings, trying to keep what you have from completely disintegrating. I do hope there's some action around the corner, though. The infantry is the queen of the battlefield. I remember seeing a poster like that once. I think it's a German World War II poster. It's a pretty cool poster. Yes, queen of the battlefield. Uh-oh. Uh, soldiers keep protesting. Might need to act quickly. I do need some help, though. It appears that in order to deal with our problems, the Action Française has reached out to us for cooperation. Very well, we'll take it. All is fair in politics. I do have a feeling this is going to um, cause some upheaval. Uh, with the 400 blows, eek. It appears we are putting some brutal measures in place to deal with the movement against us. Yes, we, we have no choice, really. This is all for the salvation of France. We cannot back down now. Indochina declares independence. Um, yes, this has historically gone really well for the colonial occupiers in the region, so I'm sure Germany will be just fine. Just fine. Yes, trouble is brewing. Now we have daily brawls in the street. Yeah, 
This is bad. This is bad. We we need to find a way to resolve this. Now I'll let you read this yourself, but this is good storytelling. Now, this is a big one. It seems the protesters have seized heavy machine guns and have fortified a large plaza. That is unacceptable and we must deal with it. It appears that the best course of action is to simply shell the plaza with the guns of a nearby Liberté class dreadnought, the Democracy. The hardest choices require the strongest will. The order is sent. The things we do for our country. It would appear that our course of action, though bloody, has proven effective. The red traitors are on the run, in jail, or in hiding, or simply scattered in pieces around the plaza. In Rimordak, or what was left of him, has been identified and he is dead. The marshal, Philippe Etain, has been deeply affected by what happened, but thankfully the marshal can count on the loyalty of the Gaul. Hey, Belgian Declaration of Independence, my boys! Yes, the free people of Belgium have risen up. Nice. And it's time for Charles de Gaulle to finally take the helm. Philippe Pétain, the Lion of Verdun, may finally rest. It is time to retire. Adieu Pétain, et vive de Gaulle. And finally, Charles de Gaulle has gone before Parliament and delivered a rousing speech requesting the Duc de Guise heir to the throne to finally pick up the French crown once more. Kings made France, and a king will save her. Vive le roi. Now it's time to deal with Republican remnants. I'll be lenient. Or maybe choose, choose the middle ground. All right, we have the research slot. Uh, I think I want my military factories. Well, well, Huey Long, elected president of the USA. Looks like the Kingfisher finally made it. There we go. More than 110 years since there was last a royal coronation, France finally has a king once again. The Republic is truly dead. Long live the kingdom. The kingdom of France once more. Now we can turn our eyes across the seas and we will retake our home. Oh, China keeps getting more insane. Now the legation cities have collapsed. I think I'll pick up a few more military factories down here. But then I should probably turn my attention towards Politique d'abord and fixing our country. And the Italians are strange. Italo Balbo, isn't that a general in the original game? I think he is in the base game. Yeah, I think I'll use my spies to keep resistance down. It's a bit of a problem. Oh, finally, we can ramp up mobilization laws. Doesn't seem like there's any benefit to skipping ahead since the cost just increases every time. Just go up one step at a time, I guess. Ah, it looks like we've purged our country of Republicans. Long live the king indeed. Alright, we have those free military factories. Time to fix our nation. Uh, it looks like corporatism and down has some good bonuses. So let's build up the country. Ooh, we can join the ISAC. I think that's one of those research pacts that gives you bonuses. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh my, a tense standoff has erupted in the United States. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty accurate. Douglas MacArthur has forcibly removed President Huey Long from his position. I didn't know they could do that. Oh boy. That's a lot of Americas, so you've got the federal government under MacArthur, the syndicalists with Jack Reed, the American Union state with Huey Long, and then the Pacific states who some for some reason split off. Yeah, I'm curious how that's gonna go over. Mm, if industry allows, I want to make some CAS and fighters, especially CAS. And we can ramp up mobilization laws again. Great. Okay. Um, looks like the US have kicked things off. All right, Madame Piaf. The fall of New York City. Oh, they've already taken New York then. Syndicalists are on a roll. Now, I do wonder if MacArthur can pull a victory out of this one. Yeah, it really does look like the Federalists stand much of a chance here. I don't think we'll be backing them if it comes to it. it might be best to throw in our lot with the American Union state. Anything but the syndicates. 12 seconds later. Now, it looks like the Entente wants our opinion on a US intervention. Now, my gut says support the Federals, but 
let's be honest here, I don't see them bouncing back from this. They lose Washington here and it's probably all over. Let's see how many units do you have left, MacArthur? Eh, not that many. Most are probably cut off somewhere. Then again, I don't like the other options either. Yes, we should support the federal government. And we'll immediately send them whatever we can. Some volunteers with aircraft. And we'll also send him some guns because he needs them. Oh, Austria. What are you doing, Austria? Yes, stability is threatened indeed. Is everyone just killing each other? Ah, the Tsardom restored. The Russian Empire rises from the ashes with Kirill the First. Nice. Very nice. Okay, our volunteers have arrived in Washington. Let's slow the game down. See if we can't micro our way to victory somehow. And while I was looking at that, Spain's also kicked off the Spanish. Who do I support? We have the Kingdom of Spain here, but not feeling it. Then there's the Carlists, and despite his ridiculous hat, he does get quite a bit of support here. I want to throw my weight behind that, I think. And send him some volunteers as well. I have another division there. Now, it might be difficult having to spread out my attention across multiple front lines. Now for focuses, I think I want to continue along my political path. It seems important that we stabilize the country. Alright, if we succeed here, we might give the Federalists some breathing space and actually a fighting chance that would link up the area around Washington with New England and cut off a couple of their divisions. So, yeah, reattaching the front lines could help tremendously. Okay, so fixed that. There's still a total collapse going on in the center, but that's irrelevant, mostly. Meanwhile. Ah, and my Carlists have arrived as well. This is where I have to spread my attention across multiple fronts now. Maybe I can get some uh, quick pockets in. In Spain, that would be good. Oh, good. Every division we destroy. It's just a little bit of an edge to the Federalists. Um, they're doing better than I expected. We really did help out by linking up their forces by cutting through Newark. Now, maybe I can make a push towards Buffalo and cut off a large portion of the Reds here. That would be great. And Spain's just, you know, the usual. Not much going on here. Might be able to take Madrid with a little luck. Oh yes, we've completed the encirclement around Buffalo. Now to make sure they don't break out. We should quickly clean this pocket up. Federalists could use the win. All right, if you clean that up, that gives a good slice of the country back to the Federalists. Our odds are okay. And Spain, we're about... Oh my god, they did it. Absolutely. Every damn time. You can't really rely on the AI to do anything useful, can you? Look away for a second and they've allowed you to become encircled. And splitting my attention between these front lines is getting a little hard. I think I can make another encirclement here if I cut towards Cleveland. That would be great. Yeah, the AI's got the rest under control. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, yes, we've taken Madrid. Good. That's another fair slice of their units encircled. Carlists are doing okay, and Federalists are almost ready to be taken off life support, so that's good. Declar Sublime Ottoman Federation? Okay, so the Ottomans have federalized. Interesting. The Burgundy Tragedy. The fate of our hero. <laughs> the... The Sacred Mission. The high-risk smuggling of French wine from Bourgogne, Bordelais, or Champagne to Algiers. Wow, we've set up a spy network specifically to smuggle in wine. How very French. How very French indeed. 20 minutes later. I think it's time we change our expeditionary templates. Uh, we need more oomph in there. 
I'm gonna duplicate these base units and they will be upgraded to 14 force. We have the experience and I do think we have a good stockpile of equipment. Besides, it's not that many divisions we need to change out. So it should be fine, I think. I'll start out with the ones in Spain. I love this. We can use our superior units to punch holes through the enemy lines and all the AI has to do really is just filter in troops behind. That's, that's all they gotta do. And we'll make the holes. Oh great, in Spain however, um, trouble is afoot. It looks like the AI is failing horribly at maintaining any semblance of a front line. Oh, Detroit, did we take it? Yes, we took Detroit. Good, 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 good. Well, if we can just cut across here, we might be able to encircle more of their divisions. God, it feels like the Spanish are horrible at holding their lines. I don't have the troops for it. Neither do I, though. I just need a couple of good encirclements to reduce the enemy divisions here. To give the Carlos the chance. Alright, we got that tank division in circle at least. Uh, we'll work on that later. Back to the US. One eternity later. Alright, in Spain we have propped up the car lists, made good encirclements, destroyed a lot of divisions, and we're about to knock the Reds out. I think when they lose Valencia, that's it. So we'll work on that. In the Americas, we have helped MacArthur keep the Federalist government standing. We've pushed out from New England and Virginia. We knocked out the Syndicalists and given them a fighting chance. Now uh, we are going to turn our attention on the American Union states. Again, small encirclements. We are the wedge and we allow the AI to pour in units behind us to fill the gaps. Well, <laughs> looks like the Canadians are finally waking up. Hopefully now that Canada has intervened, we should be able to mop this up quickly and we should get ourselves a stalwart ally in General MacArthur. I do fear that all this warmongering abroad is hurting my ability to produce units for my own invasion. Oh, finally. All right, that's one mess cleaned up, one to go. Oh boy. Yeah, I think it's time we went to extensive conscription. Yeah, we need more manpower. Ah, pockets, pockets everywhere, everywhere. I'm just gonna leave it up to the AI to close them. I really don't have that kind of time. I have to focus my efforts on expanding. I just hope that they keep pouring troops into these gaps I make. Nice, we've cut off Florida. A rush to the tip. And again, this all this was achieved with three divisions. Just three divisions used carefully. You owe me, Mr. MacArthur. You owe me big time. My experiences in America feel like a massive triumph. And my experience in Spain is suffering. Pure, unadulterated suffering. This is um, not fun. I think it's just the AI not having enough troops to filter in behind me. Uh, Albania? What? You, you can't even reach Bulgaria. Uh, is this Zog? No, it's not Zog at least. Well, you enjoy that. Eventually. Well, at least this bloody... Bloody business in Spain's done. I hope that we have found ourselves a willing ally in Javier here. We'll need his help if we are to retake France. At least I can turn my full attention back to the US. This is uh, still going to be bloody. Oh, our troops are on the final stretch towards New Orleans. That's good. Oh, there we go. A Union state knocked out. All right, so that's just the Pacific states left. Shouldn't be too difficult. So the Rocky Mountains are quite the obstacle. No, I didn't expect us to pull this one back from the brink. Oh dear, looks like the Ottomans find themselves at the um, business end of a few stores. They're fighting see, the Egyptians, the Kurds and the Iranians. I wonder, wonder how that's gonna go for them. And the Armenians as well. No. Oh. Syria as well. Is it just me or are the Ottomans doomed to continuously implode? Good, good. The King of Spain will prove a valuable ally. They have joined the Entente. It's a good place to open another front from. Well, it appears our dear friend King Edward has abdicated the throne. And he's being replaced by Prince Albert. Well, he does look smug. Honestly, I don't care who's in charge as long as you help me take back my lands. 
You know, the Pacific states are pretty much done for. Just gotta take San Francisco and Sacramento and that's it. That means we can close this. Meanwhile, we've been growing our armies and uh, getting ourselves some good research in. I think soon we'll be ready to retake the homeland. Oh, there we go. We have ended the American Civil War. Two electric boogaloo. Yeah, MacArthur, you owe us. You owe us big... Although I see that um, Canada has already taken Alaska in payment. But still, MacArthur, you owe us for this one. Also, why is your capital in Helena? No idea. Oh, looks like MacArthur, right after winning and getting rid of his pipe, um, is establishing martial law. Ooh. He, th he, thinks, he thinks we've uh, created another dictator here. Oh well. Three hours later. Oh, there we go, the Alsace ultimatum. It looks like the Germans and communists are about to go head to head here. Wonder how this plays out. Well, not well for us, apparently. And they've started fighting. Good, that's our opportunity. The final struggle here. This will give us an annex war goal on the communists. We can start paving the way to go home. And the second world krieg has erupted. No, oh, looks like the Canadians have jumped the gun already. They've declared on the Union of Britain. They are eager to go home. Very well, let us get in on this and declare. The brave soldiers of France have waited for this moment for over a decade. They stand ready to do their duty for God and country. The Kingdom of France returns home today. Ah, the Halifax Conference. How are we going to carve up Europe? French Marines have stormed the beaches of southern France. We are once again in control of Marseille. Let us quickly rush to the north. Let's expand our foothold as quickly as possible. Redeploy the military. We need everyone out here. Let's immediately seize control of Provence and mobilize some loyalists. So this German Kaiser demands we join Mittel Europa. No, we will not surrender our independence. It appears they demand we give up our claims to Alsace-Lorraine as well. Unacceptable. Too long have we suffered the humiliation of the Franco-Prussian War. We cannot simply forget these things. No, the King of France must do his duty and return all subjects to his bosom. We will never renounce Alsace-Lorraine. And it appears that despite our refusal to accept those outrageous German terms, they have seen reason and they will cooperate with the Entente to destroy the Communards. There is hope after all. Good. Good. If we can cut towards Bordeaux, we might be able to cut them off at the Pyrenees. That would destroy a large portion of the Communist army. No, oh, they pulled the Italians in. Uh, my line should be able to hold. Yes, 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 perfect. We've cut off their entire Pyrenees front. Let's destroy that now. They shouldn't have a port. No, they do not. To reorganize the lines, I will need to cover this front. Yes, there should be a large number of communist divisions trapped here. Very good, very good. Greetings, Bittersfield. Glad for you to join us here. <laughs> You are deemed vi a viable choice to play Germany since Kowalski left. One moment, I'm still recording, I forgot was on Discord. Well, so far so good, that is most of the communists' southern army trapped. We crush them, we turn our attention north. I, I do hope my Italian flank can hold though. Ooh, not looking too positive. Best mobilize some more loyalists. 
Alright, that's 15 divisions. That's another 15 divisions. Yeah, 30 divisions trapped in the south. It, it does look like Middle Africa has kind of exploded. Wow, that's not good. -ing. It looks like they've split off a couple of uh, subject nations, I suppose. Boom! We've destroyed the entire Southern Communist Army. Time to regroup and push north. We'll need to hurry. This uh, Italian assault is putting quite a bit of pressure on my line. Oh yeah, our divisions are going through these communists like a knife through butter. I don't know what divisions they're pitting against me, but they're folding like cheap suits. Oh, we are unstoppable. The Germans are folding though, they've um, had to yield quite a bit of ground. Not us though, our superior royalist forces are sweeping away the communist scum. Oh, we are closing in on Paris. So close, I can taste it. Well, so far so good, we've made a hefty contribution to the war effort. 71,000 brave Frenchmen have sacrificed their lives for God, King and Country, and they have taken almost half a million communist dogs with them. There it is, the fall of Paris. Finally! Royalist forces march through the Champs-Elysées once more. Well, the collapse is all but inevitable now. Yes, the Commune of France has capitulated. Godless heathens! Great. Now to mop up the other communists across the channel. Not to mention these Italians here. I'm going for my tried and true method of going through La Coruña and landing near Cardiff and Bristol. This is usually a weak spot in the British AI. I hope that's true in this mod as well. Meanwhile, we'll mop up Italy relatively easily with our 7-2s. I like how the Pope is still holding. Throughout all this, His Holiness remains firm. It would appear that Italy has become a free-for-all with everyone tag-teaming the Socialist Republic of Italy. Yep, yeah, that's what you get for being communist. It would appear we've made landfall excellent. It is time to get Kraken. Micro, micro, micro. Okay, that's the Italians dealt with. I think they don't have that much left on the mainland. No. Oh, finally, some Canadians showed up. Don't don't mind me. I'm just I'm just liberating your country. Thank you for the assistance. Oh yes, we've cut the United Kingdom in half, but communist resistance is fierce. It's do or die for them at this point. Doesn't matter. We'll still drive on London, and we'll drive on London hard. Yes, yes, we will take their capital. The fall of London. The capital is back in the hands of the government that abandoned it in 1925. The king has returned. Oh, just look at all these divisions trapped here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This has to be most of their army. They're gonna try and put out to sea, but I have my navy convoy raiding here. We should inflict some pretty good casualties here. Surely the communists cannot keep this up for much longer. Just the British left. It would be foolish of me to try and fight my way through here. So I'm just going to try a naval invasion below Edinburgh, around Newcastle. See if that will uh, be enough to break them once and for all. Meanwhile though, our casualties are mounting and we do not have the reserves that other nations have. But for now, we're still good. The 6% participation, so we could get a nice deal out of this. And we've been decimating our enemies. I think we're leading in casualties everywhere. Yep, yeah, across the board. Oh! Wow, um, we have a chunky papal state here. Wow, the Pope really uh, got a good deal out of this. And uh, so did Sardinia. Nice, nice. Though this has the makings of another uh, Italian battle royale to it, I think. Right, let's set off my naval invasions, see if we can finally break them. Because this is a lot of British divisions on the front lines and they are pushing hard. Oh, look at that. Sweden invading Norway. They're good at that. Wow, Finland fighting off the Russians. 
this is a very, very interesting world we've created. Does, doesn't look like Russia's doing all that well. Uh, you, you regretting things yet, Vladimir? Now to smash them between Hammer and Anvil and end this. Wow, that is a lot of divisions they have there and they're all low on organization. I think we can crush them now. Okay, can somebody explain to me why the communists in Britain who in no way, shape or form have any control over this territory are able to sign it away to the Italians. That doesn't make any sense at all. Kind of pissed off. I have to take it back eventually. I'm not in a faction at least. Oh, there. Thank God it's over. We've crushed the communists. Time to retake our country. Oh, did it crash? Uh, pretty hefty peace deal being worked out. CPU's on fire. Oh, there we go. Glorious. The Kingdom of France has returned home, but we're not quite done yet. There's a slice of Elsa's Lothring in here that we need. Elsa's Lorraine will be restored to us. Canada also went home, so I'm assuming they will uh, reinstate the United Kingdom soon. So we have one enemy remaining, the German Empire. One hour later. All right, it's 1940. We have reclaimed France proper. We have gone home. There is still a very, very large chunk of focus tree left, so I imagine this game can run well into the mid 40s. I don't think I'll be putting all of that in this video. If you want to see more of this run and see me destroy the German Empire and return Elsa's Lorraine to its rightful owners, click that like button. 500 likes and I will continue this run. This has been my first dive into mods. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and hit me up in the comments. I'm always looking for more suggestions, good mods to play, good challenges to try out, or even some achievements if I've missed any that are still hard to get. I would also like to thank my Patreon supporters for their support. Thank you guys, you helped make these videos possible. This has been me, Bittersteel. Have a good one. Goodbye.